Ukraine is not going down without a fight. Skirmishes lit the night sky over Kyiv as invading Russian soldiers meet stiff resistance. That fireball is a Russian plane downed by surface-to-air missiles. The sound of gunfire could be heard echoing across the capital. Blaring sirens warned of air attacks, sending people running for shelter. Ukrainian troops courageously manned strategic positions in Kyiv, blocking this major highway with tanks and their own bodies. A bridge into the city was blown up by Ukrainians to slow the Russian advance. Ukraine is claiming to have killed 1,000 Russians, and there is evidence the invaders have, at least for now, lost the momentum. This vehicle was destroyed, and the bodies of Russian soldiers lay nearby. This is going to be Putin's really big mistake. Ordinary Ukrainians and foreign volunteers are joining the fight. U.S. and British intelligence say the Russians are facing resistance that they didn't think they'd face on day one. The Ukrainian government is handing out rifles for every able-bodied male to defend his country. And these volunteers gathered in an abandoned factory are being trained in how to use Molotov cocktails. You've got to give the, them a lot of credit. They're fighting for their way of life. They're fighting for their families. Thirteen Ukrainian soldiers died rather than surrender their remote island outpost to a Russian warship. In the final radio transmission, they were told disarm and surrender, otherwise you will be bombed. Their response? A Russian tank crushed this car, trapping the elderly driver inside. Passers-by struggled to free him. From a secret location, Ukraine's President Zelensky posted this video rallying his people. He says he is Russia's target number one and his family is target number two.